Okay, guys, I am going to get started. A lot of times you guys are just popping in and out, which is perfect. I started doing this cookie and calligraphy um, just a creative session at the beginning of the year. So I was interested in illustrating recipes um, and using supplies that I never get to. So in January, I demonstrated this. I played with gouache. Um, which is something I don't usually use. So that was fun. Um, just to kind of challenge myself and try some different styles. Um, and then also get some fun recipes to share with everybody. So this was January's last month. I tried some pastels, like some pastel art chalk um, that have been sitting in my drawer forever. And so today I really had no idea what I was going to do, but I've had some walnut crystals that I've been meaning to try. Um, they're walnut ink crystals. So I kind of thought of going like a sepia toned vintagey looking recipe. Um, but I also have these, I don't even know what they are. So if you're tuning in, I have had these in my little art drawer for, well, since I lived in Oklahoma, I remember getting them in Oklahoma. So it's been probably five years. And they still have the plastic on them. I've never used them. I believe you are supposed to use them similar to um, watercolors, but I'm, I'm reading if there's instructions. So I kind of wanted to maybe incorporate these a little bit. They're a little metallic, um, but gelatos by Faber Castell. So we might try some of those. I pulled out my liquid watercolors um, just my regular cheapy watercolors. Let's see, I pulled out this sepia ink in case I didn't love the walnut ink. And then <clears throat> I pulled out a broad edge nib, my Moblique infinity pencil, an oblique holder, a straight holder, and also my Unchul exemplar because I've been studying Unchul. I thought I might tie it in with the title. Um, so anyways, I have no plan other than I just pulled out some things that I wanted to try that I never get the time for. And if we, uh, I know for me, if I don't schedule time to be creative, let me slide this over just a tad. It seems like I never get time to just be creative for myself. So with that being said, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys. This is the ruler from Eat Me This. I like it, especially if I'm doing different scripts because if you look closely, I'll zoom in here. Well, maybe you can see better with the white. Um, for each different calligraphy hand, copper plate, engrossers, Spencerian, American cursive, Madras, Unchul, it'll tell you which degree slant you should be writing at, which I always forget. So rather than going through all of my exemplars, I can just quickly pull this out. And if I wanted to do unchill, I remember it's at a 30 degree angle. So I am going to work on this banana cookies recipe. If you have questions, just drop them in the chat or feel free to unmute yourself. And then also um, just share any tips you have. If, if I work along and have any questions, I'll ask questions. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. It's just the time to be creative and to just explore your art supplies. So I'm going to do this banana cookie recipe. It comes from, um, it's a family recipe from my husband's grandmother. So I think, let me kind of look at my last ones. I tried to do a little bit of a different layout on each of them. I really liked this banner on the Rolo cookies. This slanted was fun and then I illustrated. And so I think I'm gonna go um, completely different. I'm gonna put the title, I think, along the edge here. So maybe I'll just draw my straight line to start with. These are the Moblique Infinity. I, I keep them in the shop and you guys have been loving them. Um, I love them also. The tip is meant to stay sharp, so you're not always um, sharpening your pencils. And it's soft enough that it erases well. Um, and then you can buy replacement tips. But anyways, just a little shout out because I love these. So um, I might have to zoom in so you can see my pencil line. I'm trying to avoid that shadow though. Maybe. 
well, I've got a straight line. Oh, there we go. I've got a straight line going here. And then on Chol, I think I'm going to write just banana. Oh, I don't know if that'll fit. Well, I guess it will if I get a smaller. This is a C2. I think I would need a smaller, maybe the C3. We are just going to experiment because uh, maybe even smaller than the C3. These are my speedball nibs. There's a C5, that's too skinny, I'm sure. Um, I'm looking for the C4. And these, oh, that one says C3 also. Uh, I just had one set in this box, but maybe that's a sign to go with the C3, which I think I'm going to. And I kind of just like playing around, seeing what works and what doesn't, just going off the cuff here. I'm going to pull this um, pointed nib out and put my straight edge, broad edge nib in. And I'm just kind of going to air right, make sure banana. Doo -doo -doo. Cookies. This is going to fit. I hope it does. It's going to be, well, I could probably draw it out, but I am, honestly, I am just, getting started with until I don't have the proportions memorized. So I'm going to come up here and draw a second line. Okay, and then I think that I will mix up some walnut ink. So like I said, I haven't used this particular one. You don't need a lot. It kind of just reminds me of like coffee, coffee grounds. I wonder if you could use, actually, I think I've seen people use coffee as ink. And walnut uh, crystals are nice if you are traveling. Um, because you can just add water when you get there. So mix that up. Can you see how it just, let's see. So I'm gonna mix it up good so all the crystals are dissolved. And I might even put a little more water in. I should grab a uh, scratch paper. Okay, let's kind of see how that's working. We like it. Until is done at a 30 degree angle, which if you, um, aren't sure you could draw with the guideline. Ooh, I actually really like this size for it. It's smaller than I anticipated. And the ends, oh, I have been struggling with the ends um, with this script, but I want to just get a feel, kind of get warmed up. I don't know if you guys do like warm ups before you start a piece. Sometimes my practice piece is the warm up. Okay, so the walnut ink is flowing nicely. If it wasn't, I would just add a little water. A little more water. Um, if you're wondering, I am looking at the exemplar. I took a class from uh, Sheila, no, 
not from Sheila Waters, from Eleanor Winters um, on Untrill. And so I am just looking at that exemplar because we don't have all the strokes memorized. Nor perfected, but this is how we get better is just applying what we've learned. Okay, that I think that's gonna work nicely. I could have maybe even done that size four. Now I'm kind of changing my mind. Like I think I am gonna do the size four. So I'm gonna rinse my nib, go back and find size four. If you're here, um, or if you're watching the recording, you'll have to chime in and let me know if you're a broad edge fan um, or not. I initially wasn't, but lately I have been really enjoying broad edge scripts and they pair nicely with a pointed pen script. Um, so I'm just gonna up that size to the four and Yeah, I think, I think that's just gonna give me a little more weight for the title that I'm looking for. Okay, that was a little bit, I'm just gonna use, don't tell anybody, I'm probably not supposed to use the back of my custom uh, pen, but here I am. Okay. So let's see, put that over there. Okay, I made that entrance already to lobby, but we're just going with it. Okay, so with this larger um, tip to this broad edge, it is feeling a little too watery, but I'm not completely sure. So, because it's getting a little blobby right here in my little entrance, it's getting larger than I want them to be. But, um, Okay, my broad edge needs polishing, um, but I do like the walnut and I do like um, this kind of title running along the, okay, see, I'm not getting those crisp, it might be how I'm holding my pen also, or maybe I should do a little scratch before I come to my page because I'm getting the blobs instead of the nice entrance. Instead of the nice entrance uh, mark. 
So grab a little blah blah. That worked a little better. Um, the E can be done a couple different ways. I think I kind of like this style today. I'm feeling, and this is going to work out about perfectly. If I was doing a piece, I would have, um, you know, like a commissioned piece, I probably would have sketched this first um, and drawn out the guidelines or used like um, tracing or a light pad and the guidelines behind it. But we are just here to explore. So I like that banana cookies. And I do like the sepia feel for uh, for this recipe. Okay, so now I have to decide. I've got um, the ingredients and then the instructions and then the frosting ingredients and then the instructions. So, I might, I think that's what needs divided here and here. Where could I add some? I feel like I'm going to fill it up with just words. So I want to maybe just across the top here, a little bit of illustration. I mean, and we might leave that for last, but yeah, I think maybe so. I think, I think. Let's, um, I don't want to use this because this um, ink is still wet. So if I slide it, the, um, the holes, you can slide it back and forth to make the guidelines. Um, but this is still wet. So I'm going to use my ruler here. And I'm having a brain stump, if you can't tell. <laughs> I just can't decide. I think, I think some illustration here. And then, where we could do, actually, I'm changing my mind. I might do illustration, illustration, instructions. So let's make sure we have room for the instructions so that we know how large to make our illustrations. Yeah, I think that's the route I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go there to, if I wanna get technical, let's measure four inches. So I come down here and measure four inches. I don't think that's enough room for the, Instructions, it might be. Let's just go up half an inch and down. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my guidelines. Again, this is not perfect. Um, if I was doing a commission piece, I would spend time really making sure they were exactly four millimeters or five millimeters or whatever um, I wanted them to be apart. Okay, so I will illustrate. And by each illustration, I can write like the shortening, the sugar, an egg. So maybe I'll just kind of draw it. There's a cup of three quarters cup shortening. And then let's draw like our sugar canister. Um, an egg, vanilla, 
or banana flavor. It's two mashed bananas, salt, um, soda, and flour. Put a little whisk in there. Do a flour dish. Yeah, I think about that size, but let's do the Oh, you couldn't see that. This lighting is off a bit. Maybe if I bring it up. I'm just kind of uh, checking for size. There we go. Showing up. Um, and then I'll label the ingredients with the measurements. Okay, so I am going to use this is a Leonard, let me double check. I believe it's a Leonard Extra Fine, Leonard Principle. Yeah, and so real quick tip, if you're new to calligraphy, you'll want to insert your nib into the flange so that it goes in far enough that it is lined up with the center of your holder. So you look here. You want the tip lined up with the center. If you look here, um, let me see. Well, no, that's a terrible angle. So the tip of your nib should be lined up with the middle of your holder. That's how you know it's in far enough or out far enough. So I'm just going to start writing the instructions. This is going to be more of a uh, Spencerian style because that feels a little more like vintage. Okay, this nib is actually, I see that the tines are the tines. Let me show you. The tines have a bit of a, I'm not going to be able to tell bit of a split. So this is bent just enough that it's not holding ink. Um, so I need to replace my nib. And now it's wet and slippery. So I can get it out. I'm just going to grab a different pen because I don't have a paper towel handy. Uh, this one. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to start writing the instructions. And I'm actually gonna zoom this down so you can see me writing, give you a different angle. Um, this is at a 45 degree angle, the corners pointing towards my body. Um, so I'm sitting straight like this and the paper is like this. Okay, so I'm giving you a different angle there. So I'm self critiquing my my work along the way. If it is, this was true Spencerian, that T is too tall. You can kind of see that in the word. Cream shortening and sugar. And this is more like American cursive right now, actually, because I am not shading it where true Spencerian would be shaded. And, but if you're out there watching this, just use whatever script makes you feel happy, whatever tools you have available.
spelled coconut rock. Um, when it dries, I can go back with my sand eraser and probably fix that. I always spell coconut wrong. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's coke o nut, and I always do the U before the O. Maybe you have that problem too. Okay, bake at 350 degrees for 10. Okay, um, some of the like historical scripts. Um, I at first didn't add that bottom part to the one, and it could have looked like a seven to a lot of people in today's world. So I went back and added that bottom, um, just because some people don't know what they don't know. You don't know what you don't know. And they wouldn't understand that traditionally or historically that was a one, and we wouldn't want them to cook them for 70 minutes. We want to make sure they know 10 minutes. So that's why I did that. If anyone is curious. And recipes, I'm not going to get like too flourishy or too, too, you know, abstract, creative, because you want it to be legible. Um, okay, and then the frosting. I haven't had these cookies for a while, and I'm sitting here writing the frosting recipe, thinking, too bad I just threw away those overripe bananas, because I could have made these delicious banana cookies. Um, and then if you are just tuning in for the first time, I, over on the page, pinned to the top, the Facebook page, um, is a recipe exchange so you can just post a photo of your recipe in there if you'd like to share and then I post mine there as well and encourage everyone else to post theirs there if they're willing to share. Um, I don't have a line here but I'm just going to go for it. So I will use this um, pointed nib again to label the ingredients and their measurements. Um, so I'm just gonna set that to the side and then I might just kind of leave, leave you here so you can see. I've got the cookie ingredients and then down here, I'm going to just kind of put um, the branch or the frosting ingredients. So we've got some more. Let's see, we've got canned milk, brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar is always in a bag. I, I just like illustrating bags. I'm not good at the creases and making it just look how I want it. Butter. Vanilla, 
and powdered sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the top. Let's see, let me turn it this way. Oh, you're getting a shadow there. <sighs> there we go. I'm gonna go back to the top. Okay, and do kind of some finer illustration here. I'm doing a measuring cup for, what was it for? Short ink. Uh, my sugar canister. I've done it. I've illustrated it with like where it's in the bag too, but I think I'd rather put it in a little canister and then the flower canister. So I'll probably label those sugar and flour. And then I, th I think I want a watercolor, but I also think it would look, oops. I also think it could look nice just to um, add some shadowing with the sepia color. Am I capable of doing that? I'm not sure, but I'm envisioning it a certain way. Maybe I would like that. Maybe most likely it's not going to turn out how I looked, but we are just here having fun, right? Banana, two bananas. I kind of like the idea of, or at least outlining it with the sepia. So maybe I will do that, outline it with the sepia, and then we can decide if we want to add any color. And then, of course, um share with me what you decide to do on yours okay we're gonna go for that design up there down here we have what was it um maybe i'll just do some tablespoons four tablespoons of cream or canned milk, butter. I can draw a cube, so that's always a bonus, I guess. Illustration is not my strong suit, but that's why I did this, was so I could challenge myself. Um, brown sugar. What's this one? Brown sugar and powdered sugar. So we'll probably write brown sugar. Wonder if I should outline these in black, but I feel like black is too black. That's too much with this like nice sepia color. But if I had just a little bit, no, because in the, the grit, I was gonna say I could water the black down, but no, because the gray the gray would come through and i don't want i don't want the gray showing up on this because i like the vintagey look i could even like kind of uh age the edges which i might do hmm. yeah i think okay i think i am going to let's see come back and grab my pointed pen oh you know what i think Actually, I'm going to try a glass pen because it's going to give me a little bit thicker line. It should flow off the glass pen nicely. Glass pens are fun. They're just um, monoline because there's no flex. But my thought was if I use the glass pen, I might get just the right thickness. 
where it's just a little bit bolder than the words here. Let me zoom in a bit for you. Okay, let's try it. We're just going to go for it. Was it just one egg? Yes, one egg. For vanilla. Cute, I, I'm liking that because then when I add the text, um, I just kind of realized those bananas aren't maybe proportional. But I'm hoping that they... look like a banana anyways. And let's do the canisters. And the glass um, is working beautifully to get those thin lines that we want, but um, still a nice uh, consistent line. Okay, so flour, sugar, and a little salt shaker. I'm actually going to move here. Salt. Mm, I need to zoom in for you. Not very good at a Doing all the things, checking the chat and and zooming in and making sure everything lighting is right. But hope if you're tuning in, you're just enjoying a little time. I always am so glad I did this afterwards, but beforehand, I'm always thinking, oh, there's million things they could be doing that's the whole point right is to just shut off your brain and let's see if we can get rid of it. shut off your brain and be creative at least it is for me i know tonight i've got some work stuff to do i've got to finish some of the house stuff But every time I do this, I feel recharged and just glad that I tried something. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, at the beginning, I was saying we might want to try those gelatos. I have no idea. Like I said, they have been in my little cupboard drawer. Well, they've been everywhere <laughs> for a long time, way too long. The plastic's still on them. I really don't know. I know I looked it up once um, and they're meant to be used similar to watercolors. So I'm gonna pull those back out and maybe we will highlight. Maybe that's what we wanna do. Um, I think I will label each of these brown, sugar. I have to check the time as well. Wow. It's just cruising by, which is what we want, right? Sit down and not look at the clock. Okay, and then powdered. Is it powdered or powder? It's powdered sugar. Well, we're calling it powder today because that's what fit. 
butter. Um, this is vanilla. Oops. That got too squashy. Um, vanilla up here. You see that? Now I'm going to write these again when I put the measurements, but since these items usually have a label, I thought I'd write that on there. Okay. Okay, that's cute. And then let me grab those gelatos while I let that dry. Let's see. Okay, this one's a rose, iced rose, which could maybe go nicely with the uh, um, walnut color. This is black licorice. I don't think I want to do any black today. And then this is a metallic icing. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe that one is open. It, it looks like um, lipstick but feels like eyeshadow maybe. Um, let's see what a paintbrush does. You guys are probably out there laughing because I have no idea. Someone enlighten me on what gelatos are. I, th I think it's just watercolor. Yeah, it, I mean, it blends nicely. And that could be a pretty little um, highlight color. So maybe we'll try it. Then I can say I've tried it. Okay. So there's the walnut. There's the rose, iced rose or whatever we call it, but I could use my paintbrush and add some highlights. So I'm going to grab a smaller paintbrush and maybe this, nope, this tiny one. I'm gonna grab this some water okay, and add some highlight and some shadowing. I'm envisioning this guys, but don't hold me to it. Just some Have any tips? Leave them in the chat, or if you're watching the replay, drop them in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear. I love tips. I love sharing. Um, and like I said, uh, illustration is not my strong suit, but I am well versed in calligraphy. So let's share tips. Okay, this is not working exactly as I envisioned, but the walnut does blend nicely. I'm finding that out. And it is kind of picking up where I need it to. Okay, let's. So I'm just using this walnut kind of as watercolor to add some highlights and some shadows. It's kind of, it's covering up the pencil nicely, which is always a bonus because I always forget to uh, erase my pencil lines. Okay, so this is really turning out good. I am actually, okay, so I'm kind of blending. Oh, it does spread really more than I wanted it to there. That's okay. We could just come in. Yeah, I might go back um, when that dries. Add, okay, the vanilla, cute. This is just giving just the, vibe I really kind of was going for. Let me 
know what you think in the comments. You like this vintagey look? Did you do a more colorful style? Don't want to get too close to those letters because they'll just blend right, right up. I'm going to try and add some of those dark here. Oh, the bananas are cut off. Sorry about that. I didn't even know what I was talking about. Um, they just blended a little more than I anticipated. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I can add the like um, measurements. Okay, going to come down here and add some shadowing. I know that I'm not adding this in the proper I should have added all of it on one side or, you know, where the light was shining, but I am just doing it for my little heart desires right now. Just grab a brush, grab a colored pencil even, and just have fun with it. Okay, so I added just some dark in the corners, kind of gonna kind of lighten up now across. that up. For me, I, like most of my recipes come from my grandmothers. So I f want them all to feel kind of vintagey, I guess. Or maybe aged, you know, when you grab a recipe and it's got some butter stains and frosting stains and fingerprints because it's well loved and the memories kind of come flooding back. At least that's kind of how it is for me. Okay, that I I really I'll be able to zoom out here. Can you see a whole of that? I hold still. Look, I am actually really liking that design. Okay, let me just make sure I have oh and then I was gonna add some maybe some highlight with this. But I don't think I want to. I just like the vintagey look. I might save that for next month. But actually, you know what I could do? I could use this white. It's just a little, instead of the rose, I might just use the white. Yeah. Can you see that? It's just a little metallic. And then kind of add a, not a shadow within the illustration, but a shadow as if it's kind of like sitting on the table. So let me kind of put some water there. And that is the gelato. Like I said, it felt kind of like I was rubbing lipstick across the page. And then just, oh, yeah, I like that. Just a bit of shimmery highlight. And I am doing this highlight all on one side as if the, I guess it would be as if the light's coming this way. Cute, you probably, oh yeah, that did show up in the, in the camera. Just a little bit of shine. And I might even, yeah, no, I think that's good. Cream shortening and sugar together. I need to check out that frosted powdered sugar. So I need to title this frosting and this cookies. Um, so I'm going to grab my broad edge again. Uh, but I do need that smaller one, I think. Yeah, what was this? This was a two. I'm going to grab that three really quick. I'm just about finished here. So if you joined in, thanks for joining in. If you're watching the replay, I am glad you are here. Um, if this is your first time joining in, first time watching, my name's Cheyenne. I probably should have said that at the first. I am a calligrapher. I was previously an educator um, when my 
first child was born, I chose to stay home with him. And that is where my kind of art career developed. Um, I think once a teacher used to that busy schedule, it's kind of hard to slow down. Um, so I kind of needed something just spreading this shadow out just a little bit. They're kind of just end too bluntly. Um, so I just needed something uh, kind of for me outside of dishes and laundry. And um, I enjoyed lettering and calligraphy. And so I really picked up on it. Let's see, I was going to title this the frosting. So someone knows the difference between the frosting and the cookie ingredients. I've got to turn my, there we go. Oh, that is way off. Um, because this book is so thick, my hand has nowhere to rest. I wonder if, yeah, that little thing would just save my life, would have made my, save my O oh, there. It's okay. We learn. Now, next time I'll remember that I need a prop for my own. And I'm going to run out of room. Well, let's just do this. Not what I envisioned, but I'm just going to come below. Um, so if you skipped here to the end, this is Unchol script hand, calligraphy hand that I have been practicing. Um, it's done with a broad edge nib, frosting. And then I might do cookies there just to make everything match. So you see how I am just going with the flow Cookie, frosting, Those are good. Um, I like that. Um, I always get in a rush to erase, but this extra salt shaker here. Okay, yeah, that's still wet. So the last thing I need to do, and I think that I might do this with, do I want to do this with black? No, I don't, but I, I do want it a little bit darker. I wonder if I could add more crystals and that would make it darker. Let's try it. And grab my... Okay, so I just added some crystals. Ooh, that's really not dissolving. Maybe I didn't mix it up far enough in the first place because see how it, uh, thick it is? And I, let's see. Oh, word to the wise, I shouldn't have been doing that over top my oh okay see so now that's darker um yeah let's let's uh label it with that then i'm going to go back to my pointed pen 
guess I need my recipe. I needed three quarters cup shortening. So I'm going to come in. I don't think I'm going to do a script. So I'm just going to, let me zoom in here. I'm just kind of going to add this text so it fits around each illustration. Three quarter cup. Shortening. I don't think you can see this in the video, but I wanted to let you know that this shadow here, is that going to show up? I want you to be able to see what I'm, the shadow with the gelato, that white metallic -y. Okay, there, I think you can see it there. Um, the walnut ink is, ride, is writing fine on top of it. I wasn't sure if it would, but the walnut ink is going on top of that gelato just fine without bleeding. So that's a good thing to note that it's working well that way. And then let's see, one egg, one egg, teaspoon, vanilla. It says I could use banana flavoring, but I never have banana flavoring in my cupboard. So I'm just gonna write vanilla two mashed bananas, I think I could have used the glass pen for this too, two mashed bananas, oh I forgot the soda, uh oh I'm gonna have to add, okay one quarter teaspoon salt. I'm going to have to draw in. Let's go here. Teaspoon of one teaspoon soda. Okay, shortening sugar egg Vanilla, bananas, salt, soda, flour. So I'll come back up and add some shadowing to that. And then let's come down here and label the frosting ingredients. Six. Table. Ooh, what's the TBL? TBLS. That's too mean. What's the abbreviation? Oh, I can't remember. Well, that's not the proper abbreviation, but we know it's not teaspoon if I do TBLS. Okay, powdered sugar is that four TBLS. I think it's, T yeah, TBLS. Four tablespoons of butter. Or margarine, but I don't have margarine in my fridge either. Oh no, look what I just did. That's not supposed to be butter. Four tablespoons butter. That's supposed to be cream. If I had a. I'm going to have to let that dry and then see if the sand eraser will get it off. Hopefully. So six tablespoons brown sugar, four tablespoons cream, four tablespoons butter, one teaspoon of 
vanilla. And I'm just finishing up here. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And the only place that it bled was this four right there. I don't think that was quite dry. That, I'm going to see if that... Uh, I think the sand eraser will take that off. The sand eraser that I've referenced is this Tombow sand eraser for ink. Um, it's just rough enough that it will remove um, some ink spots. I mean, pretty good, better than you're gonna get with a regular eraser. Like you can see, zoom in there. It's still there. And I could keep going, but I also don't want to destroy the paper. So I think I'll just grab my uh, brush and some more of this gelato and just go over it to kind of blend that walnut ink together. And then I needed to go back up and just add a bit of shadow to the tablespoon. I think I want to kind of, uh, oops. Oh, I messed that up. My impatience-ness. Okay, I gotta let that dry, redo the outline. Um, that is everything. I think that I want to, Guys, I'm looking at the whole thing and I'm actually, yeah, I think this did turn out a lot like I wanted it to feel. Cute. Okay, so I think I just want to remove this pencil line here. And just kind of, um, age the edges you know kind of some see that kind of uh, not that harsh though maybe i will do water first and then touch the oh yeah that'll look better so what i'm going to do is just water the edge first let me come up here water the edge Put it in my walnut ink and just touch the edge so it kind of blends more naturally. Okay, let's try that. I don't want to get too carried away, but um, also I am using mixed media, a mixed media art journal. So it holds up well to watercolor um, and really any anything. I, like I said, I used chalk pastels last month. We used gouache the first month um, and it is holding up just fine to each of those. So I kind of want more of an organic feel. So I'm going thicker with the water in some spots. thinner in some spots. Okay, it's soaking it up pretty quick. I already have to come back and add some water there. Okay, I'm dipping it here and I'm just going to touch the edges and watch it kind of Yeah, I like that. I can go back in and uh, um, if I want to add like a little water just on those heavy spots, kind of thin it out. And I could, if I had a paper towel, I might just 
I dab it. I don't. So I'm going to use my hands because they're what I have. I'm just kind of soaking that edge up. And I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We um, have been going an hour, so I'm going to stop there. Um, when this is completely, completely dry, I'm going to go back. Actually, that's dry. I'm going to uh, add that little one teaspoon back in. And that outline that I messed up. Um, other than that, I just need to erase. So, something, well, I might be getting carried away, but just to tie it all together, I know you can't see this well on the camera, but because I have this highlighted with the gelato metallic, just a touch, I'm just going to take a touch over the edges as well, just to kind of tie it all together. I mean, nothing much at all, just so there's that tiny bit that makes it all a little more cohesive. I'll try and capture this in the sun tomorrow so you can see what I'm talking about with the metallic. But okay, that's it guys. I really like how this turned out. Let me know what you decide to try. Um, if you do try it, if you try this style, tag me some lettered studio. Um, and then of course, if you wanna share your recipe, I'd love to see it over on the Facebook page. There's a pinned post. Um, called Virtual Recipe Exchange, uh, where we post all of our recipes. Um, okay, I think that's everything. I will catch you next month. I host this on the third Thursday of each month. So catch us next month for our next cookies and calligraphy. And I hope you enjoyed creating um, and continue to carve out time for yourself to do it. Once a week, once a month, whatever it is, take time to create. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend, and I will catch you next month.